You see, the true issue of self-care is it's being marketed as another unnecessary expense. Most are falling victim to the need for spiritual items to manifest the life of their heart's desires. Through my experience, self-care is being able to create equilibrium in the mind first. All else is just a bonus. Simplicity does not mean cheap, nor a lack thereof. My life is actually very luxurious because I'm equipped with knowing how to take care of myself physically. My mentality is also changing because of my lifestyle choices. This is how I have acquired a new level of freedom. When your body is flexible, supple and clean internally and externally, our true needs can be met, i.e. you begin to know what you really need in order to have or live a high quality of life. Using the bare minimum no longer means scarcity to me. To me, it shows true respect for what I have been given. When you no longer overcomplicate your life with material or external excess, keyword excess, okay, you can show up with joy and share some of your joy with others. You find joy in just having shelter, simple food, because you know you ate today or you will eat tomorrow. Bathing, your small but high quality herb selection in your pantry, the laughter of others, or those sacred moments between you and your loved ones that no one needs to know of because you understand that only 10% of your life is to be shared. There is so much power in this. For those of you new to this brand, Matulu, I'm not alkali. I am that I am. Eating alkaline food is just what I do for me and my family. This does not afford you a happily ever after. However, it will bring reality to the forefront of your mind and this is the foundation for true liberation. Pride yourself. I encourage you to do this. Pride yourself on the way you truly feel about yourself without a label, supportive friends, or family, or even an online community, excessive amounts of money, garments, where you live, etc. Many conversations I have shared with people that you probably admire. You know, the ones that have the status, the clout, the money, the appearance of living a well-lived life. They want that very thing, true love for self, and to rid, my friends, listen, rid themselves of a performative life. I tell you all the time in my lives and wherever else I can with my private conversations that I have with some of you, be authentic. It always fucking wins. Imagine being loved by many for a facade. <laughs> That's what I call suicide. Because anything you attract under false pretense will manifest as guilt, shame, anger, self-sabotage, and a partner <laughs> that just isn't for you. you are probably be in a job, my friend, that isn't for you, or career. This is what I call hell on earth. This is my experience most days that I'm sharing in video form with you. Remember, don't be like Matula. Be who you are ordained to be. Now, remember, my dear, no unsolicited advice or disrespectful comments will be given on this page. Please share your thoughts on your own page. Hello. <laughs> As I take joy in blocking you and your other preying accounts, even the ones that you send over here, your friends and them, I truly encourage you to go and drink some iron because your mentality is way off. You have some severe issues. Now I want to leave you with this. The state of your mind, your mental health, it all begins in your gut. So go and drink some iron, bitch.